whenever stuff like this happens, I just feel like I need to share it because these highlights in social work can be few and far between. Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in today. My name is Lauren and this is Social Work Scrapbook and I'm glad you're here. I make videos for aspiring social workers and today's video is specifically about some exciting news that I learned um, that has to do with my alma mater, the University of Texas School of Social Work, which is no longer. The new official name is the Steve Hicks School of Social Work and this is in part due to his generous $25 million donation to the school. He's the vice chairman of the Board of Regents to the University of Texas system and he's also a pioneer in telecommunications and this is big this this is big for both alumni and social workers in general and I'm gonna tell you why so for alumni we are recognized for 67 years of social work education at the flagship University of Texas system our standing as a top-ranked school of social work is no longer the best-kept secret on campus we are the only named public school of social work in the top 25 universities in the nation. And lastly, we received one of the largest gifts to a public university school of social work to date. And social workers in general, this means that a non-social worker is showing respect for our profession and values what we do for our communities each and every day. The day of the announcement of this generous gift, Mr. Hicks made a moving statement and I quote, Today is a beautiful day, but it is not a beautiful day for everyone. We have people in this very community that are suffering from addiction, alcoholism, domestic violence. The people who are holding their hands and helping them are social workers. And we train, from what I've learned, the best social workers, certainly in the state and maybe even in the country. For that, I express my appreciation and I really look forward to being a part of that legacy. As reported in the American Statesman, a social worker quite literally held Mr. Hicks's mother's hand as she passed away. And Mr. Hicks himself, being at 13 years of sobriety, has been affected and impacted by social workers. I'm gonna quote and, and read a little bit of what he said to the American Statesman. He said, I am in long-term recovery from the disease of alcoholism. They do a lot of work in that area and have counseled me and helped me to lead a more balanced and meaningful life. He's talking about social workers, you all, and this is just, it's so important whenever we're highlighted to take that as your inspiration, as your motivation to continue to work because a lot of times we are planting seeds in all fields, in fields of addiction, in fields of working with children, families. It's tough to see everything kind of come together and sometimes we don't see that but we are impacting people and we are making a change and making a difference thanks for tuning in to my little video i'm sorry if i got on the soapbox a little bit hook em horns if you found me by accident somehow then thank you and i hope you subscribe and click the little bell to get notifications whenever i do post a new video continue to comment with your questions especially so i can make some more videos for you there's a little bit of lull in the videos but i am still here no question is too small Send me your questions on Instagram, on Facebook, even you know in the comments below. I read them all. Each and every one of your comments just makes my whole day. I'm wishing you social work success. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.